fouling. And through one half, it hasn't even been close. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Killian. We're back again with another video. Um, we are currently at the half, man. I'm trying to make this video shorter. Um, I mean, this is like my, I would say like eighth or so game. I think it's ninth. I think it's the ninth game. But um, we come back for the win. Um, I get subbed out. We blowing the Lakers out. Lonzo's garbage. Chandler Parsons comes in for Deontay Davis. Wells, he's checked in for Tyreek Evans. And DJ is subbed in for Mike Conley. Ennis out there with Clarkson. Then it's Contavious Caldwell Pope. Then it's Ingram. And it's Dang in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That's who's in the game for the Lakers. Now, Smitty, be honest. When you're watching these games on TV or in person, how much do you miss playing the game? You know, I do, Kevin. I've always had that in my bones. But I think as of now, the last two or three years, as a guy that can shoot the ball a little bit, I wonder and dream and pray if I could have got a chance to shoot 15, 18 threes. So I love it, but I know my time was my time is over, but I would love to shoot that many threes. The Lakers have shot 10 of 13 from the free throw line. And they were 75% from the line a season ago. And how about the 46th pick back in the 14 drive? Jordan Clarkson has certainly exceeded expectations thus far in his career. An athletic combo guard, he's really succeeded playing at both the one and two. Well, this is what happens when you're pushing the action. DJ draws the foul call. And Greg, Jordan Clarkson, uh, he has an offensive game, doesn't he? Uh, he's able to shoot with range, and he can attack off the bounce as well. I think that enables him to kind of play on or off the ball. And I think he has a chance to be a, a really good two-way player in our league. And there's Ennis on the assist. He get that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we winning. This is actually going blowout. When they're open. I did everything I needed. Wells in the corner. Somebody said that Sharp um, Slasher doesn't make it. We've got 123 left to play in the It third does. And it, that one, good. it does. That like, right hustle, there. Hustle, I'm good hustle, at rebound. DJ I told y'all. That's why I did. To the glass. Los Angeles, Angeles has gone for us. Three point land since the start of the second half. Back to Clarkson. And he caught that pass in full stride on his way to the big slam. And guys, how fun is it watching this? Hopefully they have me play the work. Greg, it's not every point guard who can climb the ladder like he can. Not at all. You might look at him and think he can't get up, but he finds a way to consistently surprise the D by rising That's way wide above open. him time after time. I know how to play there point guard, again, so nice if you really think I can't play point on. guard, I'm showing my point guard. It's uh, the wing. Brandon Ingram. This is really not Outside a... Um, it's just a revolving off. Now here's Ingram. Covered by Parsons. Five to shoot. Here's Clarkson. Trying to come right back with the three of his own. But it's no good. Outside White. Right. Right side. Over Dang. Here's White. Nice D from Dang. Oh, my. See, that's our problem. Here's Ennis. That could have been a steal, bro. Wide open from outside off the mark. The three quarters of play all. It's whatever, runs. man. It's whatever. Already. Grizzlies out in front, opening up a huge gap. Live from the Staples Center, you're watching 2K Sports. And we're getting underway here in the fourth quarter. The scoreboard well, let's tells go. the story in this matchup. <clears throat> we'll see how much things change up here. The Grizzlies shooting a smooth 58% from the field. Everything going according to plan for them on that end. Okay, now let's reset our lineups courtesy of Gatorade. All fueled up and ready to go for this fourth quarter. So on the four for Memphis. They've got Brandon Wright. White is out there with Selden. Then it's Ben McLemore. And it's Martin in at the four slot. That one drops for him. Martin's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Grizzlies. And Los Angeles guys uh, shooting at 46%, making some buckets. Now here's Ennis. 
White covering. Here's Dang. It's good. The assist that time for Menace. Yeah, man. I think these guys will suck me out. DJ kicks to Mark. Back he can't one. shoot. He's no Memphis moving that ball around. Squad, I'm playing with right now. Outside, Mark. That would have been a turnover. Here's Selden. And the three off target. And here's Los Angeles. That was the perfect time for a putback. Almost got it. But then here's Ingram. Kind of. That's all good. And that's his fifth basket of the game. He's shooting five for 11 now. And not only can Ingram score from the perimeter, but, but he can also contribute inside. The way he releases his shot makes it very difficult to block. It's Martin on the wing. He's covered by Dang. Shot clock at six. Here's Selden. Bryant with the rebound. I got boxed out right there. Well, they're really making a point of keeping the ball moving around. That's the key. The D can't focus on one player. And no matter what anybody tells you, that ball will always move quicker than the defender. Way to attack there and then create the contact. And they say right. it's a player's league, but we know great coaching makes a difference as well. Great. Steve, what was a moment in your career where I you got somebody really Brian. were impressed with what a coach had done and a practice? I try to pass over to them. Uh, the coaches make a Martin, we obviously wide understand, open. like you said, as a player's lead, the players go out and play, but you got to have leadership. And when you have great leadership to go along with great players and great people, you have a chance to win. You might not always win it, but you feel good of going through the process. I've had some great ones and some that stick out. Lenny Wilkins in Atlanta. This is terrible. God, I swear I keep on getting boxed out. Greg Popovich, to get a chance to play for those two guys. They ain't coming back from this. I mean, I always look sure. back on some of the things they did. And a lot of moments, what? Kevin, off the court more than on the court. Interesting. Well, well said. White down low. That misses. What? The Lakers have gotten all oh my God, the here in the fourth quarter. They came out of the break on a roll. Just a really solid display there of rebounding. They've done it really all game. They and he fouled every time down the floor. And it's clear that they want to win that rebounding battle. And the Grizzlies enjoying the longest stretch of sustained success in franchise history. Greg, seven consecutive seasons making the postseason. At least I'm shooting 83% from the uh, free throw line. I've been working on that free throw. Uh, he said for that consistency, but of course Ace everyone's in this getting a bronze. So interesting to see where they go from. Oh, no, they ain't going in. Corner into a true contender. For Memphis, they've gone one of five from the field here in the fourth. A lot of misses, just the one make. Somehow ignores the tight. Let's go. The I told you the, the slashing component is really good. When it matters, giving them a tremendous advantage right here. I got 30 points, and I'm doing everything I can in my power. Uh, um, get the ball, spread the ball around. Dude. And Smitty, at the start of just about every season, NBA officials are given new directives. Hopefully, I get free throws. For officiating. In fact, they don't call it POE anymore. They just have things to really make sure you're on top of uh, for the layman. Are, are there any changes you'd like to see in the way the game is officiated? Well, you know, I think one change, I like it where it is. And obviously, continue to freedom of movement because we want to see a free flow of games. But I would love to see, Kevin, um, an offensive rebound. Say your team well, I actually timed that a little bit late. I was going for the put back. The clock is not reset to 24, maybe to 14. And that could kind of speed the game up. For Memphis, they've gone 2 of 7 from the field. And what's been a cold start to the fourth quarter for them. Outside White. Outside Martin. Back to White. Outside Martin. It's DJ atop the key. Unloads. And he didn't get. He boxed me out pretty good. So. so out of his element right now. That's, that's crazy. Shot all. This a foul. I feel for him. Seldon kicks to DJ. It's hauled in by Los Bruh. I mean, that can the layup layups is getting me mad, having me mad right now. Cause it's like I can't, I can't even finish this set at the back. I'll, I'll make an absolutely crazy type of shot, but I can't make, I cannot make. I repeat, I cannot make a, a doggone fast break layup. And my stuff's at 83, dog. And then you saw I did the spin thing and I made it. So no problem for Memphis as they get the win. 
This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team. I hope y'all enjoyed this gameplay, man. So whatever. I'll show you my badges. We close to it. We close to free throw eight. So we at. Yep. We close too. Hope y'all enjoyed.